tonight. It should benefit us. And, and so I'm asking Dr. Campbell, as a Christian and, and, and with your colleagues as well, has this event uh, done its job? Has it opened your heart? Has it, has it at least uh, opened a glimmer towards looking further into the truth of Islam? Thank you. Well, I think I'll use the last question to answer yours. Dr. Nike says there's no place that Jesus says he's God. In Mark 1461, he didn't answer. And again, the high priest was questioning him and saying to him, are you the Christ, the son of the blessed one? In other words, are you the Christ, the Son of God? And Jesus said, I am. So he did say, I'm the Son of God. And he did say he's divine. And it, the, the, the Bible clearly says, I realize he's quoted the verses he wished to quote, Dr. Dr. Zeick wished to quote, where Jesus was in his human form. But there's other verses. He says, I and the Father are one. It says, in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and, the, and, the, and God was made flesh and dwelt among us. In Jesus' baptism, the Father spoke and said, This is my beloved Son. Jesus was there, and the Holy Spirit descended. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We didn't make this thing up from our heads. Just lift this little, little uh, thing. The, uh, now my the, the friend asked the question here. We've learned many things. And I'm always willing to learn, but I still think that the 500 witnesses that saw Jesus after he rose from the dead have more power with me than Mohammed coming 600 years later as one witness. Thank you. We'll allow a question Sorry. for Dr. Zakir Sorry. from the rear. Yes, sister. Um, Dr. Campbell did first attempt to bring up supposed false facts. Uh, pertaining to the Quranic views on the universe, and you did refute these accusations. However, it was not addressed what the Bible says about the shape of the earth and its other aspects. This is the question that I did not address regarding what the Bible says about the shape of the earth. Lack of time, I can point out another 100 points, lack of time. Anyhow, sister wants to know what does the Bible speak about the shape of the earth. It's mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 4, verse number 8. It says, the same reference which Dr. William Campbell used about tempting, the devil took him, that Jesus Christ peace be upon him, to an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the earth and its glory. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 4, verse number 5. The devil took him to a high mountain and showed him the glory of all the kingdoms of the world. Now, even if you go to the tallest mountain, the highest mountain in the world, that's Mount Everest, and supposedly you have a very good vision and can see for thousands of miles together, yet you will not be able to see all the kingdoms of the world because today we know the earth is spherical. You will not be able to see the kingdom of the opposite side of the world. The only way we will see if the earth was flat. That's the description, what the Bible gives. The earth is flat. Furthermore, the same description is repeated in the book of Daniel, chapter number 4, verse number 10 and 11. It says in a dream that the tree grew up into the heaven. And there when the tree grew up into the heaven, it grew up so much that everyone from all the ends of the earth, they could see the tree. This is only possible if the shape of the earth was flat. If a tree is very long, and the shape of the earth was flat, it's possible. Today, it's a universal fact that the world is spherical. You will never be able to see the tree, however much long it is, from the opposite side of the spherical shape of the earth. Furthermore, if you read, it's mentioned in the first Chronicles, chapter number 16, verse number 30, that the earth does not move. The same is repeated in the book of Psalms, chapter number 93, verse number 1, that Almighty God has stabilized the earth. That means the earth does not move. And in the New International Version, it says that God has established and stopped the movement of the earth as though... One minute. The earth is... One minute left or one minute? One minute left. <laughs> I thought you asking me to wait for one minute. 
Regarding Dr. William Campbell, he said that Jesus Christ, peace be upon said in the Bible in several places that he was God. You can refer to my video cassette, Concept of God in Major Religion, which gives all the references and the answers. I'll only give you the references of what he quoted. I and my father of one is from John chapter number 10, verse number 30. And in the beginning was the word, is from John chapter number 1, verse number 1. You go to the context and you come to know Jesus Christ, peace be upon never claimed divinity. You can take my cassette, which is available in the fire outside, concept of God in major religion and similarities between Islam and Christianity, which give the details that Jesus Christ, peace be upon never claimed divinity. Time. Thank you. The next question from Dr. the Campbell. lady in the front for Dr. William. Um, you mentioned the, the test where a true believer can drink poison and survive because of their faith. What about uh, Rasputin, who was poisoned with enough cyanide to kill 16 people, and when that didn't kill him, he died of blood loss. He was not a good Christian. He had orgies. <laughs> How do you explain this? Where only a good Christian can drink this poison and live. How do you explain that? Well, I don't feel I have to explain it. I mean, if Rasputin wasn't a Christian, why, what happened to him has no basis for what happened in the Bible. I said before, Jesus, God, God didn't intend for us to line up here and start start taking poison and see whether he's the true God. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> it, we are not to test, test God. That was given that these, God, that said that these things will happen. It, an example would be Paul. He went to, uh, when he was in shipwreck, and he, I think it's Crete, but I have the wrong place in my mind, and, uh, and he landed. And so he was throwing wood in the fire, and a snake bit him. Nothing happened to him. But he wasn't trying to test God. He was trying to throw wood in the fire. It's a different situation. No comment, please. Thank you. The next question okay. from the rare for Dr. Excuse, Zakir. Excuse me. Yes, brother. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, sorry. Carry on. I'd just like to say about the circle of the earth. In Isaiah 40, 22, it says, He, God, sits enthroned above the circle of the earth. Thank you. In the back for Dr. Yes, Knight. brother. For Dr. Zakir. Dr. Zakir, you said there isn't any mistake in Quran. I see more than 20 mistakes in Arabic grammar. And I will tell you some of them. Brother, he said in Baqarah and Hal Hajj. Which is right? Asabi'un or Asabi'in? Number one. Number two. Brother, he one, said, one, brother one question one at a time. Yeah, please. but at the same uh, thing, he said in Surah Taha 63, Mistake. Can you explain that? And there is more than that uh, mistake. Brother, brother will allow you only the one. first part of the question. The second part will not allow because we have stated we'll allow okay. one question at a time so others get a chance to. Okay. The brother has asked a very good question. I would like to be more concordous and agreeing. He has mentioned all 20 grammatical points. And the book is referring to Abdul Fadi. Abdul Fadi, correct? Is the Quran infallible? I can yeah. see some things. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, my side is good. I will answer all 20 together. Because I've read the book. I'll answer all 20, inshallah. Inshallah. Point number one, brother. Point number one. Point number one to be noted that all Arabic grammar is taken from the Quran. Quran was the highest Arabic book, a book which has the maximum level of highest literature. All the Arabic grammar has been derived from the Quran. Quran is the textbook of grammar. Since Quran is the textbook of grammar and all the grammar is derived from the Quran, the Quran can never have a mistake. Point number one. <laughs> point number two. Point number two. Point number two. It is like you know taking a ruler and the ruler is there, has a measurement, and you're saying the measurement is wrong. It sounds illogical. Point number two. In the different tribes of Arabia, and you know Arabic, and Dr. William Campbell also will agree with me. In different Arabic tribes, the grammar keeps on changing. In some Arabic tribe, 
the word is feminine the same word is even masculine in the other tribe same word in different tribes the grammar keeps on changing even the gender keeps on changing so will you check quran with that faulty grammar no and furthermore the eloquent